in this video we will do discrete time convolution you have to be very careful when n comes it is it tells us that it is discrete when t comes it is continuous so you have to be very careful about this is x of n signal with amplitude 2 and it is h of n with amplitude here 1 2 1 these are your axes so first of all I am not again taking reversal because you will get the same answer if you just reverse. So the reversal would be like same. Now limits. Lower limit will be you will just see low. Okay. Lower limit is compare here it is minus one, it is zero. Minus one plus zero minus one. and here upper I mean here you can see it is 1 it is 2 so you get 3 so your this is the biggest and main step here your final y of n must be lie within this range if it goes out of this range then your answer will get wrong okay now you have to see these x of sorry look here's the formula minus infinity to infinity x of K H of N minus K it is minus so first of all we will check at 0 X of 0 and H of minus k so you have put in 0 you get minus it is same as reversal so you all you get this for x of 1 h of 1 minus k you have to convolve this so just shift this h of n to right side it becomes 0 1 2 so one thing I forgot that amplitude here was 2 you have to multiply it with them so I'm sorry I just missed that part it is very important part you get 2 you get 4 of and okay so here it was 2 4 and 2 similarly for this is your for last one x of 2 h of 2 minus k So, just shift 
the signal to two steps ahead look at this not this if you are looking at this just shift it one place ahead so you get two you get two here you get four here you get now i'm just in you have got this one this one and this one simply add see what is the lower limit between them i'm making a v shape web so minus 1 is your lowest limit and upper limit is 3 here we will not add we will see which is the biggest limit and lowest limit sorry zero one two so see at minus one oh you have to see this sorry you have to see this compare it with this and this diagonal i'm really sorry so on minus 1 you are getting just 2 on zero you are getting 4 plus 2 6 1 2 3 one on one you are getting 2 plus 2 4 on one on one i guess you are getting here 4 2 and 2 so you get 8 on two are, you are getting only 6 you are getting 6 and on three you are getting 2 this is all the discrete time convolution